Hello gang, this is Ben, k 4 z EP from the world's smallest lab. I just started an experiment running here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing and then I'll come back in a few hours and show you what has happened. I do not know what will happen for sure. But what I have here is a charger discharger circuit that charges the battery at 200 milliamps for 18 seconds and then discharges the battery at 200 milliamps for 18 seconds and it's running in the non-linear at the top end of the battery voltage with the fully charged battery and to show you basically what happened is when we start here the discharger cuts on and it's discharging at 200 milliamps here at this point the charger cuts in and it's charging at 200 milliamps here so it's cycling back and forth at 18 second intervals charge discharge charge discharge and you can see the charge area is in a very non-linear portion the, the voltage jumps up, it drops very, very, very little bit here when it's discharging because it's falling into the low impedance portion of the battery. But when it starts charging, it starts going up here and then it takes off and runs up here because it turns into a high impedance source. And so we're working back and forth through this. I'm not kind of serious to see, curious to see what will happen. I'm doing that with a power supply, of course, that supplies 400 milliamps and a discharger that discharges at 200 milliamps. And the difference is if this solid state relay is on it's charging at 400, or there's 400 milliamps current going into the summing junction at the battery but because it's discharging at 200 milliamps only 200 milliamps is actually going into the battery and then when it cuts off vice versa so it's even 200 plus 200 minus 200 plus 200 minus so uh, and it's driven by a, an old uh, uh, HP 811A pulse generator into the square wave mode. So, and I'm monitoring the voltage uh, in the charge circuit to show the 400 milliamps when it turns on here in a second it'll turn on and you'll see the, the uh, 400 mils going in. That's a, a, a simple little way to uh, fool the, uh, uh, the discharger circuit and be able to show both functions at the same time. So, I'm curious what will happen in this nonlinear area here. It, it's hard to say if there's a trend going on or not, but uh, we'll see as time goes by. I see maybe a trend, but I'm not going to say anything yet. So this has been from the world's smallest lab, K4ZEP, thinking and thinking and thunking and thunking. Good night, all.